The Hobbit, The Desolation of Smog was released in 2013 and was once again directed by Peter Jackson. It tells the story of Bilbo and the gang who have escaped the Misty Mountains as Bilbo now has the ring. The gang continue their quest to get their goods back from the dragon known as Smog. So we are now on the second part of the Hobbit trilogy and I have to say I was quite impressed by this movie. Granted I do have some of the same issues with this movie as I did with the first one but I have to say I thought The Hobbit Desolation of Smog was an improvement over the first one. I actually think they're on par with one another. I just think this one is better so far. The trilogy is getting better and better. Hopefully the third one is the best of the bunch. So I have to say I thought the story was really good. It had a lot more action, which I appreciated. The action was great. I thought the mythology revolving Smog was very interesting, very compelling. It's quite fascinating. There's a lot more lore in this movie, which I think is good. I also think the journey is better in this movie. I think it's more interesting and it feels like it's taking, uh, it's connected to the first one. Like it really does feel like a genuine continuation. And I think when the movie ends, it's really interesting because it makes you wonder, okay, what's the third movie going to be like? And I think the ending really sets up the third movie very nicely. So I have to say, I think the storyline in the movie is very, very, very impressive. Granted, I do feel there were a lot of slow scenes that really did drag, and I do think maybe one or two scenes you could have cut out of the movie. But nonetheless, the movie story was still very good. The visuals, the cinematography, absolutely incredible. Mind-blowing stuff. The action was absolutely incredible. We'll get to Smog in a moment, but his design is fantastic. Overall, visually, this movie looks fantastic. And I mean outstanding movie visually. And the film's characters were very solid. Bilbo was good in this film once again with a compelling arc and his interactions with the other characters was more interesting I felt than it was in the first movie. Similar to The Two Towers though, Gandalf isn't in this one as much as he was in the first one, which is quite strange, but it was nice to see the other characters and what they were all like before and their interactions between one another are very well done. The villains, while better than they were in the first movie, they just ain't that interesting to me. I just feel they lack a lot of character. Then there's Smug, the dragon, who appeared at the ending of the first movie, and oh boy, this guy is really, really great. I do personally wish he had a bit more screen time, but when we meet him, oh boy, is this guy really cool. His design and personality is very well done in my opinion, and I can't wait to see what they do with him in the Battle of the Five Armies. So yeah, the movie does have some very solid characters, despite having a few lackluster antagonists. The music, once again, absolutely incredible. I really do like the music in these movies. I think it's it really suits the tone of the scenes and the movies, and I think it's just great music to listen to. I really do love the soundtracks in these movies. Overall, I think The Desolation of Smug is even better than the first one. Overall, The Desolation of Smug is slightly better than the first one in my book. Solid story, great action, good characters, and incredible music. So far, I'm quite impressed by the Hobbit trilogy. I'm going to give The Hobbit, The Desolation of Smug, an 8 out of 10. So that's it for my review of the second film in the Hobbit trilogy. Stay tuned for my next review, which is going to be on the third movie, Battle of the Five Armies. The final movie in the Lord of the Rings saga, or the Hobbit trilogy. And we'll get to that one very soon. I'm very interested to see it. I'm expecting great things from it. So I hope it lives up to the first two movies. Stay tuned for my review of that coming soon. Until then, everyone, take care, guys. Thank you all for watching and skidoosh.